Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Yoikl here in 2024. Uh, Yoikl has been a print-on-demand brand business company, whatever you want to call it, that's been in existence now for a little while. And I kind of wanted to do a review of their website, their products. Uh, this is the company that I'm currently using for my print-on-demand. Before we even get into this video... I'm not getting paid to promote these guys. I'm not, I am an affiliate, but I think the only time I get paid is when you guys actually get a sale through my link. Um, so I, I don't think, I don't think I even do get paid. I'm not sure. Let me see. Affiliate program. Did I even sign up? Yeah, I didn't sign up, but um, it says here, get an extra 10% for every order uh, for your referred customers. So I don't have any referred customers. Um, but it doesn't matter. That's not the point. The point is I'm making this video for you guys talking about this company. So this is the company that I'm using for my print on demand uh, currently for this tutorial. And uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be running ads, creating the whole Shopify store, doing everything in between. And I figured I'd share this because, you know, this company, there's nothing crazy special about it, but it does have more products than something like a Printful or a Printify. Um, Something to be aware when you're using a company like this, the only negatives you could really expect are long shipping times. Um, basically, from the customer, the day that they're ordering and the day that it's being delivered, it will take a little while, at least more than normal companies. Now, it is made to order, you know, print on demand. So is it kind of expected? Yes. But at the same time, you want to make sure your customer is aware of that. The second thing I would say it's a little bit negative is... The bonus of the low prices to produce the products is kind of paid through the shipping. So they are pretty smart with how they do their work here, and uh, they keep everything cheap, uh, pricely cheap, uh, 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 cheaply priced. Excuse me. So if you look here, for example, this uh, shirt here is five eighty nine, but shipping could cost the same price, you know, or shipping costs even more. So it costs more to ship than it costs to produce. Uh, so you're looking at, let's say, $13 total, let's just say, to produce and ship this product. And obviously, um, I was going to say it costs different for each size, but I guess not. Uh, so they have one price for the product, one price for shipping. So in this case, for this shirt, for example, you're going to pay about $13 to get this shipped out to the customer. And uh, seven dollars of six thirty-two of that is in shipping. So the shipping cost is high, and the shipping takes a long time. This company is based in Asia, so you can kind of expect why that is. But other than that, the company is pretty good. Oh, also third negative, I would say we might as well get the negatives out there. Is the mockups are pretty bad, you know? So if you're gonna own your own business. It's probably a good idea to buy these products, get a photographer, or maybe you could be the photographer, shoot the photos of the products on different models and such uh, to show it off because these mock-ups are just not that good. That's just my opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, that's just, once again, my opinion. So let's go ahead and get into it. So these are the products, right? It says here we have 800 total items. This is page one um, that shows 48 total products. So you could see here. We have uh, shorts for the men's. Let's see. We got hoodies, sweatshirts, pants, uh, quilts. I, I think this is a quilt. Yep, a quilt. Uh, uh, tumblers, which is kind of like a, you know, like a water bottle, similar to a water bottle. Uh, all over print shirts, some uh, nightgown kind of things. Here we have uh, baby clothes, right? Uh, these croc looking shoes, which are pretty cool. I know that's in with the, you know, that's in right now, the trends and the fashion. Um, baseball jerseys, hockey hockey jersey style. Uh, kind of like the cheaper style, though. I know that, you know, the good hockey jerseys have that, like, lace on them in the front. Uh, but still good. You know, nothing to complain about. Uh, here, some more hoodies. And obviously, they have different materials, different compositions, things like that. This is the hoodie with the... Um, Kind of like the ear style, so that's interesting. Me personally, something I wouldn't wear, but you know, it's there. Uh, pants, we have here these rugs, these mats, pretty cool. 
um, more jackets. You know, this is a bomber jacket. Here we have some cool pants. Uh, so you're looking at a, at a really large selection of products. I mean, masks, you name it, the products are probably going to exist. So the question is, can you build a business with this or a brand with this? And the answer is absolutely. You know, you absolutely can. But once again, something that I would do is um, every single order that comes through uh, or every product that I'm selling, I'd probably order it and uh, have a professional photo shoot uh, with it. And, and, you know, that's what I've done with my very first business when I used to order products overseas. I used to, you know, take f professional photos with them. So um, for on, on different uh, fitness models and things like that. But that was a business that I had, you know, seven years ago. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into the settings here, right? So you have the main menu. The main menu is going to show you certain things that could potentially be on sale. And then you have products that are trending. So anything that's trending is just, it's being ordered a lot by other sellers. Um, which is not really a determinant factor in what you should sell, because what you should sell is going to be different, obviously, um, at least in some cases, not all cases. There's a lot of people in the Shopify world that think that there's something called a winning product, and that's not true at all. You know, some people will say, oh, this product's a winning product. It's, it's trending on AliExpress. It's this software is telling me that it's winning. The reality is, is those products become winning because of the demand and the demand comes from the advertising. It does not come from consumer demand organically. So if you think that, you know, going and selling these products are going to make you successful, that's not true. You know, it's, it all has to do with the marketing of your product. Um, here you have like a little chart, which is interesting. It, and I actually like this. It's really useful. You have the unpaid uh, products. You have the need approval products. You have awaiting production, in production, awaiting shipment, and shipping. So obviously, these are the different statuses, okay? And then these are the products. When it says need approval, you have to approve every order that comes in. Either you are a virtual assistant, whatever, and you can improve them, approve them in bulk. You know, if you get an order of 300 different shirts and you're going to fulfill them in the next day, you can go ahead and select them all. Uh, obviously... It's a good idea to look into your Shopify dashboard. If you're using Shopify, you can integrate this with Shopify. Look at your Shopify dashboard. There are always people that are uh, trying to scam, you know, and they'll take stolen credit cards and use them. So be aware of that. Uh, so look at your Shopify dashboard first before you fulfill orders. A lot of people who are beginner Shopify sellers, you know, they could get their first or second sale and it has a high... Um, a high, uh, what's it called, risk rate on the order, like a high fraud chance. And then they'll fulfill the order anyway because they're excited and they don't know what to do. But the reality is, stolen credit card, you're going to lose your money anyway. Not a good idea to fulfill. So look into that. Um, but this is in the main menu. So here you have your products, which essentially everything on the front of the website here is found here as well. Okay? There's absolutely no difference. Um, you have your favorites. You know, you could save stuff on the favorites. Best sellers, new arrivals, sports, Valentine's Day, etc. Um, you can just go ahead and click stuff, and they'll show you the collection of products. Okay, um, here you have your mock-up template. So you have the ability to indeed create mock-ups. I do want to make a, a different video for a different time about this, so I'm just going to leave that to uh, a different a different day. Okay, print files. All right, so your print files are the images that you actually upload. Um, so for example, in my Shopify series, I'm doing these animal type images, right? And I'm going to put them on posters so you can kind of see how big they are, okay? Or not even how big, well, it does show the dimensions, but more importantly, uh, how they look, right? So we can go to page two here and you can see how big they are, dimensions, um, but this is after they have been minified. Uh, which, you know, they're going to be expanded. And some of these I can't even use. I just uploaded a bunch of them. Like this one, 1,152 pixels, way too small. But uh, you want to upscale all your images before you upload them. In fact, this image is probably like 8,000 pixels, 4,000 pixels, 6,000, something like that. This one is definitely over 4,000. I know that for sure. Um, but yeah. Anyways, branding center. So branding center. You can pay a dollar for to have your own custom brand. And when I say your own custom brand, 
uh, per image so, or per product that you ship. So imagine you sell a hoodie, right? A hoodie is going to have a tag on it. That tag you can brand yourself and put your own name brand on it. So your own logo, um, which is pretty cool. You know, it gives you that little professional edge over the competition, uh, potentially, or just, you know, it's something memorable. Would I do it? Absolutely. You know, um, especially for products that I'm selling in the clothing niche. For this Shopify tutorial, as you guys know, I'm doing a Shopify series. I'm not selling clothing. I'm doing posters. So that it's, this is the store section where you can connect a store. So you could see here, this is the Shopify store. And we have only one product published. And I'll be doing a separate video where I publish pretty much all the products in one shot. So I'll be uploading them, publishing them, getting that part done. And I'll be doing it live as well. Uh, this part is your discounts. So you can check here. You have a membership discount. You have a coupon discount. Now, you can get coupons. You can get discounts depending on, you know, what you spend, you know, things like that. So it's kind of nice. They give you these incentives. Uh, as long as you're getting the sales, you could use them all, obviously. Uh, but the nice thing is, is the more sales you get over time, which is important, um, the, the, you know, the, the better discount you'll get over time. Uh, they do upcharge in shipping and in product, you know, so if you work your way, let's just say you work your way all the way up, you know, at most, you're going to get a 20% discount on all products. So you look at here, this is level five, right? You have to get a hundred thousand dollars or more in sales, which some people think is crazy. It's really not. It's very possible for you guys to do that. Every single person watching, you know, accumulated with time, the more sales you get, it's very possible. Uh, I have print on demand stores outside of this, outside of even Shopify on different platforms that we've passed that way beyond that number. So, um, you know, it's obviously not all profit. You have to pay for ads. You have to pay for hosting, which hosting is really nothing anyway. It's like $40 a month. Um, but uh, you got to pay for ads. You know, the, there's a lot of things you have to pay for returns, chargeback. There's a lot of it's, you know, it's a business. So uh, it's part of the game. But you know, in terms of revenue, it's not that bad. Um, notifications. So this, these are just notifications by the company. So if they have something they want to say to you, you know, like an order failed or you can't print a certain design or something like that, they'll tell you here, right? Uh, if a product gets shipped out, you'll be noticed. You, you'll be notified here. So you can always check your notifications. And uh, settings, obviously, is the next part. Um, you can have virtual assistants log on here and do work for you. I'm personally not going to click on any of these because I don't want to show personal information. You get the point, though. Um, but there's really, that's pretty much it. It's basic stuff. You want to get grab your invoice, you can go ahead and do that. Um, you know, Amazon Listing Exporter, you could use it if you're selling on Amazon and the affiliate program. So that's pretty much it. This is how to use Yoikl in 2024. If you want to see more videos on how I personally use it, uh, you can check me out. I can, I, I can, you can actually go see my videos of me uploading products to my website with it. Um, I think I even did it in one of my last videos, and I'll be doing a whole video on that. So check out the Shopify series in the link in the description. You'll be seeing a whole bunch of videos, and uh, you'll be able to check it out. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, bye.